Hey, so what's going on there, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again. Back again, America 2019 bike demos. Look at bike demos. So we're gonna take out this uh, Chieftain. Is this the Elite? Sorry, not Chieftain, excuse me. Uh, Roadmaster, da, 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 da. doesn't say Elite, just a Roadmaster, I guess. Which is fine here, you have the regular front wheel. So just to show you the back, take a look at the bags, which is nice. I got my little coffee press in there. A lot of space, the trunk. Let's look at that trunk, wow. Got a nice power outlet. And you, you have your armrest there. So, I am ready to get moving. Not doing too many demo rides today. I've got this one, and then after that, I've got the uh, the Goldwing. At about three o'clock, I'll be taking that out. So we're gonna take a nice cruise with this. Wait, shield is all the way down. They've just uh, filled it up. You have your. Uh, ride modes we start off in tour and we'll progress on over to sport when we get close to the highway all right so I'm pretty familiar with the friction zone so I'm not too worried about that I'm not sure if they, uh, with them making changes, if that changes anything within, you know, between standard sport. I'm gonna look that up online and see if, with them making, with you making these changes between your uh, ride mode, I don't think it changes anything in the suspension. I think mostly it's just throttle response, pretty similar to with the uh, Yamaha Venture. Um, with this, you have these uh, lowers which are adjustable as you can see there and uh, we're gonna get moving wow you know with a for a bike this size you don't even feel the weight you would think you would feel the weight this is KTM here but um, yeah you really don't feel it it's nice it has a nice sound to it too really nice sound yeah so definitely I feel like for the slow speed stuff I'd want to be in the tour mode uh, I know that's one of the things with uh, when you have these lowers down here you're gonna get a little bit more of that heat on you but the nice thing is that they have a wide vent. Look at that vent. Wow. Man. And you have some storage here. That's nice. Nice solid feel to it too. Which is cool. You can lock your compartments. They're unlocked. And when it's locked, it actually illuminates that. Okay, I guess you can only leave it unlocked, I guess. What is that? Heated seat? Don't need that. <laughs> it's like 78 degrees here in Lake George. Anyway, since we're out and about, so at the lowest position, the shield doesn't seem like it's in my way or anything, but I'm 5'11 and uh, got a 30 inch, 30, uh, 30, 30 inch inseam? Yeah, 30 inch inseam feels pretty good so we're gonna ride down here we're at Americade it's a Friday and it's gonna be one of the busier days so there's gonna be a lot of traffic here a lot of people out and uh, a lot of people looking to have a good time <laughs> so um, yeah seat feels seat feels good feels like 
they like to use the uh, firmer option of a seat, which is nice. You know, maybe that actually is something that helps to keep you a little bit comfortable. Not sure what most Indian riders prefer or what they actually do after owning a bike. That's something you have to own the bike and then you kind of figure out what works for you, what doesn't. On the left you have your uh, audio controls, the cruise control is on the right as I have seen along with your start and stop buttons for the engine. You have your fog lamps which are on the left up here on the dash and your power start which is over here. And she has, you know, Indian has a, their motors tend to have a a little bit of a different thump to them, which is nice, a nice thump. You have a gear indicator, as you probably already know. I, think, I would like to think most people that are watching this probably know that already, but you do get a gear indicator there. Self-canceling signals. Switch to standard. All right, we're gonna have to roll off. Switch to standard. All right, should give us a little more, a uh, little more feel. The lean is bad, girl. feel much of a difference with the uh, sport trunk on there which definitely feels good so now if we're getting a little more wind we'll just double tap that on up and that should help off to the left here and let's get to cruising speeds now we're just kind of cruising along Take this on down to the next uh, exit. Really good, smooth ride down on the highway. I get a little bit of buffeting, but not a lot, but I'm getting a little bit there. feels good sometimes you just need to get a feel for the bike you know even on the highway sometimes you get a little gust from the bridge ah, that does nothing nothing to me not even didn't even make me budge love it These lower bars are nice and comfortable. I like them. Let's say we lower this down a bit. Turn on the cruise control. We lower the screen down to where I might want it. Let's say maybe right here. Woo, man. Yeah, that is, that is pretty turbulent. I think for the I noticed from riding the other ones oh my god that I tend to like tour mode it's turbulent but it's nice you know you, you get some you get the wind in your in your helmet it goes into the top of your helmet man it feels good brother you know I love that let's go to tour mode all right and tour mode flip Really nice compression in that back shock. Nice rebound too. Feels good. All right, so we're gonna make it right here.
truck coming. Okay. How are we doing? How are you? Do you see me there? The frig are you looking at, dude? Alright. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. I mean, I could have kept going, but I'm pretty sure between he and I, I'm not going to win that one. So. Wow. Really nice and solid. Nice and solid feel to it through here. And I've come through here on many of my demo rides coming through here you know you know where some of the bumps and some of the ruts are sometimes there's new ones you never know new things things develop things happen but one thing I can't account for is anything running out into the road so you just have to be mindful of that sort of thing that it can happen will happen and does happen back rest would go nice with this and that's just my uh, my personal preference through the bumps she feels good lower the, lower the shield down all the way yeah I guess it is all the way down I don't know Bike. You know, I vlogged one of these one time and it never recorded, unfortunately. But uh, I've always wanted to ride one again. <laughs> Just for, I mean, mainly for the fun of it, but, you know, it's always it's so much fun to ride. Nice handling bike, man. I would definitely own one. Most definitely. I mean, you know, two up riding, yeah. I guess you would take into consideration the gauges and those sort of things, but I'm not really, I'm not really make no never mind of that to me right now. I've already spoke about that and have my feelings on it and how it feels and it is what it is. So my buddy Viper Six says, "It is what it is." You know what I mean? through there pretty good a little bit of wallowing but nothing uh nothing really out the ordinary but she handles pretty darn good very nice beautiful day here in lake george man i tell you i love getting out here man oh man do i love it any chance I get, I, I love to come to America. I do plan on hitting a few others. Um, man, I'd love to get to. Uh, I'd love to get to uh, Laconia one year. That would be cool. That would be awesome. 
Yeah, so I like I like standard I like tour mode through here. I mean, maybe if I were used to the bike a little bit more, I would uh I would use the standard and the sport, but. As it stands, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is a fun ride, man. I mean, I guess if I had to uh, choose, <laughs> well, I didn't ride the wing yet. I gotta go ride the wing in uh, the hour. So, man, if I had to choose, man, holy crap, I don't know. Yeah, look at all the bikes coming here, man. A lot of bikes, a lot of bikes. Listen to this horn. <laughs> <laughs>